I will be taking the 4th standard, 2nd language, chapter 1, continuation, the clock of life. Now in our previous class, we have done the poem, clock of life. And I hope you have all memorized the poem. It's a beautiful poem. If you haven't memorized, please memorize it. Okay? And then in the next chapter, we also did the exercises from page number 2 to page number 6. We have, you are supposed to fill in all the blanks and then take a photocopy of it and send it on my WhatsApp on the assignment group. Some of the students have sent the homework. Very good children. Some of you are yet to finish. Finish your homework and send it across so that we will be able to give you marks. Now, let me take you to page number 7. Hope all your children, all children have your textbooks with you. This is page number 7. What does it say? It says sing and enjoy. This is a rhyme children. We will name this rhyme as cup and saucer. Okay. So I'm going to call Rohini ma'am to come along with me and sing the song. Ma'am please do come ma'am. Okay. Let's see children how this rhyme goes. Cup and saucer, cup and saucer, ready for tea, ready for tea. How many children, how many children? One, two, three, one, two, three. Bed and pillow, bed and pillow, ready for sleep, ready for sleep. How many children? How many children? Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Chair and table. Chair and table. Ready for work. Ready for work. How many children? How many children? Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Now you heard the rhyme children, how well it was sung, right? You can practice this. Practice this like this. We will also do it with some action, okay? So that you will also enjoy with action. Cup and saucer, cup and saucer, ready for tea, ready for tea. How many children? How many children? One, two, three. One, two, three. Bed and pillow. Bed and pillow. Ready for sleep. Ready for sleep. How many children? How many children? Four, five, six. Four, five, six. Chair and table. Chair and table, ready for work, ready for work. How many children, how many children? Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine. So children, hope you have enjoyed the rhyme and its action. You can practice it along with your family members and have fun. Okay, now we'll go to what does page number 7 say. Some of the important things I want to take you to. Here you see, you sing and enjoy. Did you enjoy it? Yes. This is a rhyme, okay. Now you, I want you to check in these words. Cup and saucer. Watch it. Cup and saucer. This is in the first stanza. Now you come to the second stanza. You get the word bed and pillow. Bed and pillow. Come to the third, third para. You get chair and table. Chair and table. Now these are also called as pairing words. All will be in pairs together. 
okay that is called as pairing two by two okay it's called as pairing words so you got this once again i'll read it cup and saucer bed and pillow chair and table in the next class i will i will teach you clearly about pairing words and how how we can make many words using pairing words okay children now let's move to page number 8 page number 8 in page number 8 it says here is another rhyme first read it silently and fill in the blanks using the pictures with their names as clues given below now the hint clues means hint the hint is in the picture now i have written the answers or the i have named the pictures or given the name for the picture but in your textbook you will not have the name so let's see this is a ring it's a car this is a moon fridge cup cake now let's go to the above exercise this is a word which rhymes with bridge i'm very cold because i'm in a fridge okay so the rhyming word here is bridge and fridge got the children let's go to the second one this is a word which rhymes with up you can pour into me and drink i'm a cup okay now this is a this is a cup okay now the rhyming words here are up and cup you watch children the last letters will finish the last letters of the word will finish in the same letters like r i d g e look at this r i d g e look at this r i d g e here you see u p up u p up okay it should rhyme in the same letter the last two three letter should rhyme should uh, should be the same now let's go to this i am good for journey when you going far i need lots of petrol because i'm a dash car okay car now come to the rhyming word fa ka look at the last two letters a r it ends in look at this it ends in a r okay fa ka next this is a word which rhymes with spoon i shine at night because i'm a moon see since they have given you the clue you should use this clue only moon okay now spoon moon these are two rhyming words next this is a word which rhymes with bake i'm tasty to eat because i'm a cake cake okay bake cake now here are the rhyming words b a k e bake c a k e cake look at the last letters they are the same a k e and a k e these are rhyming words they should almost have the same spellings okay i'm a circle a bright shiny thing it's on my fourth finger i'm a ring r i n g ring so here are the rhyming words thing ring this is how we get rhyming words children for example let me take you to bun gun sun like it ends with u n let's say big dig fig it ends with i g i will also teach you the 
rhyming words in my next class so that you would understand it better okay children now let me take you to page number 9 page number 9 what is the pictures let's see fill in the boxes pictures are given as clues now here there are boxes with spellings that you should fill in okay you have a clue or hint to help you the pictures will help you what you should fill in the in the blank brush nail cutter toothpaste this is water towel soap brush and oil tooth brush i'm going to just spell it i want you children to fill it up okay children t o o t h tooth b r u s h tooth toothbrush t o o t h tooth b r u s h brush toothbrush this is an example now n dash dash l dash u dash 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 what is this picture it shows a nail cutter nail cutter starts with n now i'm going to spell nail cutter but you're the one who's going to fill it n a i l nail c u t t e r nail cut to once again n a i l nail c u t cut t e r t nail cut t okay now let's go to the next one this is tooth paste t o o t h tooth paste p a s t e tooth paste let's go to the next one this is water in a glass w a t e r water w a t e r water let's go to the next one towel t o w e l towel next one s o a p soap the next one c o m b comb next one o i l oil now children what you are supposed to do once you write the spelling i want you to learn the spellings at the same time i am also going to tell you something else in the same chapter you had learned about long vowels and short vowels okay now you look at this t o o t h here you get two vowels together is it a long vowel or a short vowel ha huh. there are two vowels so it becomes a long vowel good children come back to here also again you have a third one t o o t h tooth paste again here you have two o o which is a vowel together this is a long vowel you understood children if you do like this if you recollect what you have studied ha huh, this is a long vowel this is a short vowel this is a rhyming word okay this is a pairing word this is a proper noun this is a common noun always you should understand and you should you should connect it with what you have studied if you do such if you do it like this you will learn to 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 understand your lesson very well children is that clear children i will meet you in the next class thank you children okay the our next class is a new lesson i will meet you there okay fill in all this 
and again you have to send it to me on the whatsapp group okay once again thank you children have a nice time do your assignments don't forget to send it bye bye